Hi, my name is Calvin Christensen. I'm the Training and Implementation Specialist from the Central Region. You normally can find me in Lincoln, Nebraska, but today I'm in one of the greatest places in the world, New York City. We're going to be going through ISP data. I hope you're excited. I sure am. Let's talk about ISP data. ISP data is a component of Therap that allows you to track an individual's goals, objectives, outcomes, or any other tasks that your agency is trying to track. Yeah. Along with tracking that data, it allows you to pull reports that will allow you to analyze how often a service was provided or the progress an individual is making towards a goal. Now let's look at how you can use this tool. So today, this Training Academy course, along with the demo account access, will ensure that each trainee is able to define goals and objectives of programs designed to help individuals, provide guidelines to be followed to achieve those objectives, provide the means to collect and record data to track progress of goals set in the service program plan, calculate their corresponding scores according to the scoring method specified in the ISP program for the goals achieved. Tell the difference between scoring comments and a comment. Search for ISP data. Demonstrate how to save new ISP data. Before you can collect any ISP data, you have to acknowledge the ISP program. Whenever a new ISP program is created or has been updated, you will receive a message on your to-do tab. You'll see the word ISP data, and below that, in blue, you'll see the word acknowledge. To the right, you'll see the amount of new or updated programs that you need to acknowledge. Go ahead and click on the blue link. Once you click on that blue link, you'll be taken to a list of ISP programs. Click on the ISP program, and it will take you to the read-only version. Make sure to read thoroughly through the ISP program. At the very bottom, you're going to see there's the ability to click acknowledge. Once you click acknowledge, you're going to be given a message. It's going to say, I acknowledge I have read, understood, and will actively implement this program. At this point, if you do not feel comfortable at all running this program or how you're supposed to collect the data, do not click OK. Click cancel and contact the person at your agency and make sure to get your questions answered. Once you feel comfortable with the program and how you're supposed to collect the data, go down to the bottom, click acknowledge, and then click OK. At this point, you will not have to acknowledge this ISP program until either a new one is created or this has been updated. This is not something you're going to have to do every time at the point of entry. Keep in mind that once you've acknowledged an ISP program, that on your to-do tab, the count next to ISP data that says acknowledge will go down. This is so it will keep you updated on any new ISP programs or any updated ISP programs that you have to acknowledge. After you've acknowledged the ISP program, you are now able to enter ISP data. Go to your dashboard, click on the individual tab. From there, you'll see ISP data. To the right, click on new. This will take you to a list of programs. Now, if you work only at one location, you may have a list of individuals show up at this point. If you have a list of programs, select the appropriate program, and then the list of individuals will show up. Select the correct individual, and a list of their ISP programs are in front of you. Select the appropriate ISP program by looking at the program name. After you select the appropriate program, you'll be taken to a screen that will give you some program details, such as the program name, the program creation date, and then data collection date. This date, by default, will be today's date, as you typically collect data the day you provide those services. If that date needs to be changed, you have the ability to edit it, by clicking on the calendar and selecting the appropriate date. Once you have the appropriate date selected, go to the bottom right and click Submit. Let's talk about entering ISP data. At the top of your screen, you're going to see program name. To the right of that, the program name has a blue link. Now let's talk about this link. Do you remember that ISP program that you read through and you acknowledged? If you ever need access to that, or if you're like me and you forgot a scoring method or a step that you may need to run, you can always click on this link and it will take you to those program details, from the required items to their criteria of completion. This will have all the information you would need to run this program. 
Once you've read through the program or referenced the information needed, you can click the red X at the top right corner and it will take you right back to the point of data entry. Let's get back to entering ISP data. The first section, some of you might see a begin and end time, time duration, or you might see nothing at all. You'll want to reference the ISP program that you read through. It should tell you whether or not the begin and end time or time duration are required or optional. For example, when I was working in the field, I worked with an individual that had a workout goal. We would put the begin time and end time of their workout. That way, we knew whether or not how long they worked out or how often they worked out. But please don't make the mistake that I made and forget your AM or PM. You will get an error every time you get submit, and everybody knows how annoying that is. The next section you're going to see is location. This could be your mall, a community center, your local park, or if you're in San Francisco, it might be the Golden Gate Bridge. If you're in New York, it could be Central Park. Or if you're like me, my favorite place in the world is Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska on a Saturday in the fall. Next, you're going to see Service Provider. This is going to list the person who provided the service. In most cases, this should be you. The next section, you're going to see Task on your left and then some drop downs on your right. Those tasks to your left could be the supports that you're offering, the services you're providing, or the goal that you're tracking for the individual. It could be a wide variety of different things. By clicking on the drop down, you're going to see scoring options. This can be a lot of different things. It could be a plus or minus, a yes or no, did they do it independently with a verbal prompt. You will know what these are as you have read through the ISP program. You're gonna to wanna to go through that list and choose the correct option from the drop down box. You may have the option to put scoring comments. These comment boxes will be below the scoring method or that drop down. Here you can elaborate more on what you did, the, whether it's the services you provided, the supports you offered, or maybe a little bit more about how the individual is doing towards their goal than just a yes or no, or a plus or minus. This scoring comment box will give you the ability to put a little bit more narrative as opposed to then just the scoring option. Next, you're gonna see billable, yes or no. This defaults to all ISP programs. So unless your supervisor has directed you or asked you to choose one or the other, leave it alone. Don't click it and move on. At the bottom of the page, you're going to see a comment box. This defaults to all ISP programs. So make sure to reference the ISP program on whether or not you're required to fill this comment box out. The scoring comments relate specifically to a task. This comment box relates to the program as a whole. So fill it out accordingly. Once you've completed all of your documentation, the very bottom right corner, you're going to hit save. Once you click save, you have now entered in your ISP data. As long as you've entered all of your data correctly, once you hit save, you should get a confirmation that tells you that the data has been saved successfully. You can either at this point, choose to go back to your dashboard or below you'll see some blue links. For instance, if you need to enter data on another goal for the same individual, you will choose the link that says enter data on another ISP program for this same individual. If you're entering data on another individual within that same program, you can click choose another individual. If you need to document on somebody that's in a different program or site, choose program or site. From there, you'll be given the same opportunities to choose programs and enter your ISP data. You can also utilize the blue links to search or to pull reports. Utilizing these links will save you some steps. You're not gonna have to go back to your dashboard, select new, select a program, select an individual, and then choose the correct ISP program. Utilize these steps as it'll make your documentation a little bit more efficient. You now know how to acknowledge new or updated ISP programs from your to-do tab. Also, from the individual tab, you know how to enter in your ISP data. You can collect time duration, begin and end time, location, your scoring options, whether it's billable or not, and how to submit your data. Let's talk about why you may want to use the search. You may want to go look back at some of your data just to look at it and see what you've entered. You may be working with a new person or coming in on a weekend and just want to know what's going on prior to you being there. Maybe you just want to verify that those last couple days you worked with multiple individuals that you did do all the documentation that you were supposed to. There's a lot of reasons to why you may want to utilize this search 
and we're going to show you how to do so. From the individual tab to the right of ISP data, you're going to see search. Click on search. You now have search fields that you can fill out. This could be the individual that you're working with, who entered it, the ISP program name, or the date of data collection. You could use these for a variety of different reasons. If you're looking for the data over the past week, I could enter just the past week and that data collection date. If I'm looking for mine, the data that I've entered, I can enter my name as entered by. Maybe I'm looking for a certain program, like toothbrushing. I can enter toothbrushing in the ISP program name. You'll want to enter the fields that you want, and once they're correct, hit search. Just like anywhere else in Therap, the more narrow your search criteria is, the better your results will be. If you are able to answer the questions presented throughout this training, then you'll have no problems passing your quiz. But more importantly, you won't have any issues actually utilizing the module at your agency. If you struggle with any portion of this course, please rewatch, attempt a hands-on experience in test mode, and continue to repeat the steps until this information makes sense. Always remember that practice certainly makes perfect. If you need to, you can retake this course from your Training Academy dashboard. Just click the Retake button next to your pass-fail score. You can also come back and jump ahead to different sections that you want to review at a later date as many times as you need to. As always, our support team are happy to help you on Life Help if you have any questions. But go ahead and check out the user guides and try the search option on our support page for immediate answers if you know what you're looking for. I hope you found this very helpful and if you want to watch additional courses on other modules, check out our support page for additional resources. They are available. I want to thank you guys and hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.